hey you guys welcome back to my channel this is nancy back at it again i know okay so really quick today i am back with you guys but this time i'm going to be cooking tinga with you guys if you guys follow me on snap you guys know that i am a complete foodie like i love food especially mexican food love it if i can choose one plate that i could eat for the rest of my life it would definitely have to be tinga first we're going to stop by the store we're going to pick up all the ingredients that we need and then we will get started so let's go I remember I got pulled over at this exact stop sign that was literally like a few feet from my house. That was so sad. We're gonna get there. The store that I'm gonna buy all this stuff from is really, really close, so that's good. We're gonna go in, buy it, go out, and start cooking. <laughs> I just love Tika so much, it makes me happy. There's usually never parking here, but ooh, there is parking. Okay. Let's get off. This is where we usually get all of our meats and stuff like that. Hola, me da seis dólares de pechuga sin hueso. Sí. Ya, ya me está ayudando. Gracias. Don Francisco, ¿qué ofrezco? No, nomás dos libras. ¿Dos libras? Sí, dos libras. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cuántas fotos lleva? ¿Cuántas qué? No, voy a, voy a grabar cómo hacer tinga. Muchas gracias. Gracias igualmente. I'm going to start off by washing my hands. You will see me do this throughout the entire process. And I'm going to also dry them. I'm going to start rinsing off the chicken. And disclaimer, I did break my nail. I know it annoys me, but now I'm gonna take out most of the fat of the chicken and cut it in small pieces. That way it cooks faster and better. I recommend that you already have the water boiling. It's better that way, but now I'm going to dump the chicken in there so that it can start cooking. You will see that I will continuously rewash everything that I'm using. I feel like if I do that, I'll create less of a mess and it'll be easier to clean up. So I'll just keep rewashing it and reusing it. Now I'm going to wash the tomatoes. I'm only going to be using three. You can use four if you want it less spicy, but I like my food spicy. I'm going to start cooking them. Now I'm going to get a little small piece of onion and put it in the chicken and take out the foam that is forming as well. With the rest of the onion, I will use later, so I'll chop it all up. As soon as the tomatoes are cooked, they will be soft and the skin will peel off. That's when you know they're ready, turn it off. I'm going to meanwhile start cutting up the lettuce. Only cut up what you know you're going to be using, then it turns brown. So that's a tip. This is a brand that I used. I'm going to use three of these. I always like to rinse them off because I feel like the dust and whatever, it's just nasty. So I rinse them off before opening them. I'm going to throw them in the blender and add the tomatoes that are cooked with the skin. Now I'm going to add water until the very top
and it's ready to be blended. I know that my chicken is ready when I put the knife through it and it goes through very nicely and it pulls apart really nicely. So I'm going to take it out. Now I'm going to start sauteing the onion with some vegetable oil. Once it's slightly brown, I'm going to turn it off and start shredding the chicken. Now I'm going to add the chicken in it and I want it lightly golden, not too crispy just a little bit golden it's ready for the sauce so I'm going to pour that in and stir that all up I'm going to use some of the chicken broth I don't like using too much but I do like it for the flavor I feel like if I use too much it kind of becomes a little sweet and sour and I like my food spicy so but it does really help so add some as far as the salt if you're not really good with salt I would recommend using a little bit trying it and then adding more but for me I don't measure salt I'm kind of okay with using it and knowing how much I need so it's pretty much ready I'm going to cover it and let it simmer for some minutes and now I'm ready to prepare the tostadas. Some people use crema. I personally like using mayo for the base of my tostadas. Then I'm going to add the tinga right on top. Then the lettuce goes on top and the queso fresco as a finishing topping. This is how I make my tinga. If you make it differently, let me know. If you've never tried tinga, try it. And let me know if you do. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, you guys, it's delicious.